with extra collectors. Collectors? Collectors! It's collectors, not collectors! <laughs> Hi, I'm Matt and this is Not Enough Tech. Today we are talking about Son of Mini and look how tiny this thing is. Now it's probably about half the size of the Son of Basic. This is Son of Basic R3. This is an RF edition but they look the same. And it's probably just a tiny little bit bigger than a Shelly 1 device. Now this is a direct competitor to Shelly 1 in terms of the function because it allows you to interact with your switch over the internet and also using a physical switch just like this one. The main features of the Sonoff Mini are six different terminals where you can connect your light and the light switch that is going to control it. Uh, it also has a pin inside that uh, you can use uh, to switch the device into DIY mode and more of that a little bit later. And uh, if you look at the back side, there's actually a couple of pins exposed there, which you can take advantage of if you're going to flash a custom software like Tasmota. If you're interested in flashing Tasmota, I'll have a link uh, in a corner of the video here explaining uh, whether you should flash Tasmota on your son of devices and how to take advantage of that. Now in here I have everything set up and the uh, um, Son of Mini is connected to the light switch and to the light obviously. Unlike uh, Son of Basic, uh, the switch itself is disconnected from the power source so I could toggle the light on and off and still keep the Son of Powered which means I have a connectivity with internet and I can toggle the switch using uh, my smart speakers as well. So let me demonstrate it. I'm gonna put that to off and use Alexa, turn Son of Mini on. As you can see, that's gonna work regardless of the switch orientation and by default, the switch is set to a edge mode, which means it's gonna apply the opposite setting to your light. So if you have the light on from a voice command, it will turn it off. And if your light is on from the switch and you use uh, Google or and Amazon Echo commands, then obviously you can control it that way. Alexa, turn Son of Mini on. There you go. Before I'm gonna jump into the installation and tips, be advised that you're going to deal with the main power supply. It's dangerous and if you don't know what you're doing, you're better off asking a professional to fit it for you. Now, based on the country you live in and the wiring standards, it's going to be probably two possible locations of installing this. Now, one of the locations is going to be behind the wall switch. If the power in, the, the mains go first to the switch and then to your light bulb. Or, like in here in UK, the power supply goes to a light bulb first and then goes to a switch in which, uh, in this situation, the Son of Mini is going to go uh, underneath the uh, light fixture. To connect Son of Mini, it's a piece of cake, just pay attention to the labels. Start with the power wire, once that's connected, connect the switch. Uh, the orientation for the switch doesn't matter and then you are left with two additional wires. This is the light bulb loop. Just pay attention where the neutral and the light goes in. And that's pretty much everything you need to do to connect this. The pairing is very simple, just plug the device in, check the blinking mode and hit the quick pairing and after a while you're gonna have your device powered on. Now it's most likely gonna prompt you to upgrade your firmware and there is a bit of an issue with that. Uh, there's something I've covered in a DIY mode as well how to resolve but the issue is still persistent which is a bit annoying. So once you've got that sorted, you will be able to access the Son of Mini interface. So it does not come with any additional options, to be honest. So you don't have the controls over how to um, control the button itself. All you get is really an inching support. And that's pretty much it from the fancy features. Other than that, you have your typical schedules, timers and a loop timer if you're interested in that. If you're interested in what kind of support, third-party support you've got, uh, those are listed here and you can see that it works with uh, Google uh, Home, it works with Amazon Echo, Xiaomi and other services as well, including IFTTT.
So what's the conclusion? Would I recommend the device? Ah, it depends. Honestly, the hardware is great. I like the six terminals. It makes it a breeze to connect. You just plug in all the wires and it just works. There is no need to fuff about with extra connectors like you would with Shelly One device, making the whole package actually easier to fit behind the wall socket, even though it's bigger. Now, there is a low voltage on the wall switch, which also is a benefit because you not don't have to connect the high power switches like this. You can run a low power switch instead. It's down to your preference. And even inside you have extra pins that you could possibly use to connect all the devices once you're going to flash a custom software like Tasmota. But the biggest shortcomings of uh, the Son of Mini is the DIY mode. Now, if you're gonna use it in an e-wheeling app mode, that's fine, because you're gonna have your smart speakers and your physical controls okay. But if you want to integrate it with Node-RED, you're gonna lose that smart speakers functionality and you would have to reintroduce that within a Node-RED. Now, that's disappointing and I wish the DIY mode would go in a different direction. But for now, I can only look at Shelly One software and, well, look at it with envy in my heart. So tell me guys if you're going to get a Son of Mini. Um, you also know I don't have a regular schedule, so if you want to get a notification when the new content is out, uh, it's best to follow me on social media of your choice. You can get Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, or even Patreon if you want to support me. Uh, links down below. As soon as I post something, you're gonna get a notification and you'll know it's time to visit my website or YouTube channel. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.